good morning students the liver is one of the most important abdominal organ which is very frequently asked during oral or hyperbosis examination if you are asked to hold the liver the first question will be how to hold it in anatomical position and you all know in my previous video how to hold the liver in anatomical position i already described the second question usually comes what are the supporting factor of the liver because liver is an organ which is about 1.5 kg in weight so it is a very huge organ and it is situated in the right hypochondrium epigastrium and partly in the left hypochondrium but how it is situated in position because of its huge weight that are called the supporting factors the first supporting factor or rather the most important supporting factor is the hepatic vein draining into the inferior vena cava you know the hepatic veins are multiple in number they pierce the floor of the inferior vena cava and then it opens into the inferior vena cava this is the most important supporting factor the second factor is the other abdominal viscera and the intraabdominal pressure which keeps the liver in position and the least important factors are the ligaments attached to the liver like the falciform ligament and others but usually what happens this when the students are asked for the supporting factors of liver usually the students uh, start answering it is the ligaments and abdominal viscera but the reality is that the most important factor is the hepatic veins draining into the inferior vena cava this particular term to be used which is usually not told by the students so this, these are all three supporting factors i am repeating once again first one is the hepatic veins draining into the inferior vena cava through the floor of the inferior vena cava number two the surrounding abdominal viscerals like the kidneys oleoflexors and others and number three is the ligaments particularly the falciform ligaments so that's all for the supporting factors of the liver thank you very much